Okay, that's two lives in a row that I pointed the camera and start talking about, hey, the show's starting and realize my microphone is turned off. So at least I caught that one a little quicker on this one. Thanks so much for being here. It's Thursday. It's nine o'clock in the East Coast. That means it's time for this week at Gear Report, sponsored by our friends at Maxim Defense. Um, this is the show where typically we're going to talk about anything that has been published at Gear Report since the show the prior week, anything that's in the review queue that we want to kind of give people a preview on, and then obviously the infamous sh shooting session. As Gizzard Gary has kindly pointed out here, the appropriate greeting for this program is three yo's. Uh, I don't even know how to put a trademark on them like he did. So I, I'm not going to require that. OK, we may have to involve some legal eagles here to sort out whether that trademark is valid. Uh, but but regardless, we're not going to do that during the show. Um, that, that may be some extracurricular activities that happen outside of the regular program hours. Typically, we go from about 9 to 10, 1030, maybe 11. Depends on what we want to talk about. Typically, you're going to see uh, me here as the sidekick and TJ kind of the life of the party. I'm not sure where TJ is, but I am fairly certain that I neglected to send the uh, the login information. Uh, and and I'll get to I'll I'll explain why. Um, it's also the reason that uh, let me let me get the appropriate heading up here. Recent reviews. Let's see. Did I not click that? Chat is not going away. All right, we'll hide that. And then we'll come back here and do recent reviews. We don't have any. And I'll tell you why. It's uh, something that we've been building up to for a few months. We finally switched the Gear Report website to a different web server. Oh, no. And I'm watching it on the other screen here. Uh, hopefully, hopefully this broadcast works okay because I just tried to reload it and, and it didn't work. The internet has been super shady here on my end since the hurricane Ian went through a couple weeks ago. And, you know, every day or two, I'll feel like, oh, okay, we've sorted it out. It's working normally. Everything is fine. I don't need to call spectrum cable and, and deal with their customer service. And then shortly after I say that it becomes apparent that it's not working fine and um, and we will lose the ability to connect to websites. Streaming stuff seems to continue to work. It's really, really bizarre. I'm not sure what's going on. Anyhow, we moved the website. I was going to show you. Uh, you know what? I'll show you anyway, and you'll understand where I'm coming from. Uh, let's see. We'll go with window. We'll come over to that window this is what i deal with throughout the day every day for the last couple of weeks and i don't know which part of the hardware keeps failing that is causing this but it'll work and then it won't work and then it'll work and then it won't work it's really kind of bizarre matthew komar three yo's plus an exclamation point we appreciate that um we'll, we'll see if the site loads appropriately now um, it looked like we're having a little bit of an issue with, with one or two of the images loading. So I don't, I don't know if it's a site problem or a, um, local internet problem here. I suspect it's a local internet problem. So we're not going to spend a lot of time on the website. I am going to have to do some troubleshooting with the, um, with the folks at, uh, at the cable provider to see if we can't get that sorted out so that the uh, internet actually works the way it is supposed to. So uh, Matthew, I left, I left his comment up here to give a big shout out to him for saving me when I jumped the gun and made some uh, backend server changes uh, to the domain, thinking that it usually takes a day or two or three for those changes to propagate out through the internet. Well, lo and behold, things have improved on the internet and the speed that which those uh, DNS changes propagate through the system has changed from one to three days to more like about 30 seconds. 
Uh, so I made a change, hit save. I'm thinking, all right, now I got to haul ass and get everything done today so that the new site will be ready when those changes happen, just to find out that it, it happened immediately. And it locked me out of the old website because the DNS had already moved it. So uh, Matthew was kind enough to hop on um, uh, a screen share and, and actually take over my computer for a bit and guide me through how to fix that and get back online and uh, access the FTP server so I could pull all the files they needed, push them up to the new server. So everyone, big round of applause for Mr. Komar for saving the day and um, helping me recover from one of my uh, poorly thought out uh, adventures. Okay, so we've already established we don't have any recent reviews. Uh, because of all the time that I have spent, I got to tell you, it has been a nightmare of downloading files. I got to select all the files I want to download off the web server and execute it, and it runs for like 12 hours. And then I go look, and there are big gaps in the files. And the gaps happened in the plugins directory in WordPress and in the images, basically all the, the uh, uploaded files, which is... Um, Let's see, we had images going back to 2010. Oh, TJ logged in as me again. That's going to be interesting when he joins us here in a moment. Uh, we will have two El Jefes again. So you'll just have to remember the one with the hat is not me. That's TJ. Um, but anyhow, so I got all those uh, files downloaded and then realized that I had about two and a half months worth of pictures from mid 2020 and that was it you know from 2010 to 2000 um <laughs> to 2020 i had lost all those pictures and then after that i had nothing for for the second half of 20 21 or 22 and you talk about going into freak out mode we have got almost 1300 pub are you hearing me tj yeah I'm not hearing a thing from you. What? Which is probably probably my audio again. I remember this oh, before. All right. Let me. Can everybody else out there change hear me? my speaker here? Gizzard, yeah. Matthew, Jason, can you guys hear me? Okay, I can hear you now. I, right. I think that was my end. I think that uh, I, my I computer forgets oh. about the USB speaker. Here, this time. is how I see everybody right now. Yeah, really. <laughs> Well, wow. you and you went through like crystal clear to slightly blurry again. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was well done. All right. Oh, I went to oh God, down. you're blurry now. I know. I wanted to get centered up. Oh, look at that. There, there you see every Fantastic. bit of stubble. Every bit of, I didn't shave before the podcast. Yeah, yeah. I thought about it, but uh, I decided not to. I was like, yeah. They'll be fine. Whoa, what are you doing? Just you simmer down now. Simmer down. Oh, my goodness. So so anyhow, I, I had quite the adventure getting all of these files copied over. And, uh, man. It, are we going to do reviews now? It, we can do reviews now. I sent the email out this afternoon that said, um, it's all clear. You can start editing again. And I also sent the, uh, I did the normal Google Calendar update and sent that out with the link here. And then I got to thinking, you know, I wonder, you, well, you can log directly in. Um, so you don't actually need the link. You're like the one person who doesn't need the link. But I, I sent it to power. you as a Facebook message anyway, because it occurred to me part of this changing to a new web server. Good evening, Mr. Sanders, by the way. Um, part of changing to the new host and the new server was it broke the gearreport.com email. So TJ's email, my email, um, and the admin email, those are the only three left on that domain. Everyone else, I had to take those down when they started charging us uh, per email account per month. And I was like, we've got. 65 people with writer accounts i'm not paying six bucks a month times 65 people so they can all have a gear report email address 
It's cut into my budget now. Everybody's got to pay six bucks. I got it down to four people. And then the intro where they were only charging me half per month ran out. So that meant Snob is giving us yo's individually. Yep. One, two, and three. There you go. Oh, late. And a fourth one. Just to be sure. Overachiever yeah. snob. Thanks, or maybe buddy. maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was three. Oh, I think it shows another one in our little control panel. Like yeah, it shows true. the active right. one. That's what it All was. Right, you're not, you're not an overachiever. It was operator error on my on mm -hmm. my side. Uh, so anyhow, I got this. Uh, I got it moved over, and then the uh, the old hosting company was a semi local guy. So instead of talking to Rajiv in tech support, you know, in you know the call center in Mumbai. I, I actually sent text messages to a guy in Winston-Salem, you know, an hour from me. And nice. uh, and he answers real quick and, and has done a great job. I kind of hate that I was abandoning him, but I think that as a service provider, but I think he was really like keeping me on at a much lower rate than he needed to. He was kind of losing money on having gear report on his server because the volume of traffic that we drive to the website versus what he was charging, he just couldn't do. I think he was happy to see me go because he was losing money on gear report. But um, but he helped me figure a few things out. Matthew Komar helped me figure a few, few things out. But he told me early on, he said, watch out. Your email is about to stop working because you changed the domain that means your email is going to stop working. And I was like, no, 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 it's working fine. And it took me like a day to realize, nope, he was right. Only half of my email was working because half of it goes to the crestmarketing.com and half of it goes to gearreport.com. So I was still seeing things coming through. So anyhow, TJ, uh, you and Caleb both have new email accounts and you should have gotten an email today, potentially. Maybe I don't. I haven't checked my. I've had. Hey, I bet that email went into the account that you don't know about yet, because you wouldn't have been I, able to see it otherwise. I have a super I'll double have secret share it with account. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. So you have a new email account, and I'll create them for AJ and and Alan and some of the other people who who do things periodically and need a Gear Report email account. I don't have to be so stingy with them. I only had ten for years because that's what the Google free. Uh, email hosting will give you on a business account without charging anything, you could have 10. So whoever was most active, they would get the account. D dyslexic and falling short. That must mean ghost tactical. Yeah. Welcome to the program ghost. Uh, two oys, I guess, you know, two backwards yos. You have to is, keep us on our toes. Guess it's better than nothing. Well, listen, we'll take what we can get. Yeah. So I got to tell you, I am flat out exhausted from the mental effort of fighting with this web server and getting files to move and remembering passwords and stuff that works and then it doesn't work and a flaky internet connection. I have had so many things going on this week that, um, that's it. Cheers that over. My brain's kind of See you, everybody. <laughs> yeah. So I think, um, I think I may kind of take a little bit of a break tomorrow and then dig in and start writing like a madman. I got a bunch of videos I got to edit and publish and a couple new ones I need to shoot. I've got so much I need to do. Uh, we, we keep talking week after week that this empty with no ammo in it and completely safe Maxim defense PDX 300. <sighs> so sexy. That, that, probably three fourths of that review has been written. All the, all the still images have been taken. Some video has been shot. I need to edit some video. I think that's going to, I think I'll publish it and then come back and do the video later. Um, but I'm going to say that whole thing is about three fourths of the way done. I've got a little bit more I need to do to get that done. I'm in the, I've just been taking pictures and waiting patiently. I've got a bunch of pictures to upload. What is he talking about? I'll come over here. 
No, but we need people watching on the Gear Report Firearms channel because we're trying to build watch time over there so we can get it monetized. But I've got to get more videos posted. I haven't been putting much content there. Although something I've started doing, if you're not watching Gear Report on Instagram, um, I have a pretty weak social media game in general, I think, by modern standards. Like, I don't wear booty shorts and you know uh, you're not, not gonna yet. see you're, you're not, not gonna yet. see the camel toe on me which means like tiktok and instagram and all of those that are all about you know doing lewd things with with skin tight outfits on we, we don't do any of that but what we do is post some pretty cool i've been i've been playing with reels and um we've got some neat reels up there and i've started taking I've started taking some of those. Um, sorry, I got distracted. I started taking some of those reels off of Instagram and posting them in the appropriate different gear report YouTube channels. So uh, camping gear report got the the one over here where Steve is. Uh, Steve is one of the other adults in my uh, for the the scout unit that I work with, and he was installing some grommets by hand. So I uh, I will maybe eventually edit that into a tutorial on how to do grommets, but I just wrapped that into a video, and so I have posted that as a short on the uh, Gear Report firearm. Or excuse me, that's on Camping Gear Report. The middle one here. Uh, I think that I posted that one on Gear Report Firearms and the next one on Gear Report Firearms. And then you see one with a guitar on it that went on the Guitar Gear Report channel. So if you're not familiar with all those channels, I am trying to spread some media around to all of them. So Just in case. They, so there's something for people to case, do with it. In case there. TJ does something bad. Yeah, or even if he doesn't, I'm going to post something that makes it look bad. So, Probably. TJ, do you also see, it looks like Ghost and Kevin Kinzer are both in the green room, but I see... I don't see pictures, muted, I see. Muted mic and camera turned off for Kevin, and it doesn't even have the camera thing for Ghost. I'm going to bring, right. I'm going to bring them in, just in case. I can't tell if they're hey. actually there. Kevin... I right here, right here, Kevin. I, mean, I am I am everywhere, Jeff. You are Kevin, static. As Kevin well. is in the road, facing oncoming traffic. It looks like that's awesome. It looks like it's a full moon out tonight. It does. What's going on there, Kev? So it's uh, it's less 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 bandwidth, you know. Oh yeah, I got you. I'm driving through Virginia. I'm driving through Virginia right now. Oh, your wow. banjos. <laughs> do you hear banjos? What's that? Slinging. Do you hear nah, banjos? I don't hear banjos. Nah, nah. Those are all in Tennessee. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that that's the plan is they I, want to lull you into complacency so you think yeah. you're safe that's there. You and then that's safe. when things are gonna get hairy. Uh-huh. I've been uh slinging some cans up here. Nice. Nice. Traveling around, just doing All right, mine. let me know if you pass through the middle of North Carolina travels. I definitely will. I'll fly over you at 6 a.m. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, 6 a.m. Okay. I'll be out in the front yard <laughs> looking up. Sure. Make sure to use the well, bathroom right at that point. Oh, yeah. So, so, Jeff, did you know that I saw TJ in person down, uh, down in Florida? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know. We had a, Everyone knows. We had a freaking blast. It was all over the internet. It was everywhere. Yeah? <laughs> everywhere? There you go. It was everywhere. <laughs> well, I, so, I saw him at Suppress Fest, right? But then yeah. I came down to, you know, Coco area and yeah. met him at Pint and Pistol. And we had yep. a freaking blast. Yep. Well, it's good to hear. And you got to see my mobile art. My mobile GSL showroom. The suppressor yeah. wagon. That's what I'm going to call it. The suppressor the wagon. The suppressor wagon. The safest RV in the country. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that sounds pretty cool. He he definitely called and told me about that. And um, 
and I was a bit jealous. I'll, I'll be honest. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I've seen the RV before, but I was not invited in for the tour at that point. It's, it's the same RV ah. you had at. Um, oh, there's, well, there's bourbon and cigars inside. Clark, you get that, the, uh, there's you get an RV. Yeah, don't be all jealous. That's right. Where we're all four of us. All four of us were there. the The Palmetto State Armory event early in the year. What was that called? Yeah, yeah. The, the gathering. gathering. That's it. Yeah. The yeah, gathering. Had, yeah, that was, first, uh, that was the very first. That was the first. Yep, that was the first weekend I had it. Nice. So is that yours, or is that a company vehicle that they issue to you, or what? It's mine. I bought it. It's all mine, for. Mark. It's all mine. She's a beaut. You don't fall in love with her. Nice. Is the shitter full? It is now. That's I, was, right. I was in there. Yeah. So while the internet is cooperating, a, a touch, because I'm telling you, my internet has been terrible lately. You never know when a web page just won't load. You can mm -hmm. see that right now, not everything on the site loaded properly. And I don't know if that is because my internet's janky or because um, something else is, you know, there's something up with the website. But everything loaded good today uh, when like I checked it. And uh, that made me happy because I'll tell you, it was, it was an ordeal moving that whole website with 1,300 articles and about a quarter million pictures uh between all the different articles about a quarter million pictures over the last 12 years uh 13 almost 13 years worth of pictures and articles so you move you move over the um, it crashes automatically like oh, we can't handle that oh my goodness yeah i mean hopefully it it hangs in there and turns into yeah, I've got a couple a, more a hundred more up. yeah whoa i hope you, you didn't wreck yeah. I'm assuming he just was like driving through a bad data coverage area. Probably it's Virginia. Yeah. So ghost, are you also driving and conserving bandwidth? Uh, no, I'm sitting in my recliner conserving bandwidth. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking about. Yeah. Drive. I don't drive. I have people that do that for me. Right? <laughs> Come on now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you know, um, one day we'll get to D-list status and we will, we'll be able to experience that for ourselves. But for now, I mean, it's pretty I, special. I you know, we're there. Yeah, yet. It sounds like, it sounds like it. <laughs> oh, bye Kevin. Yeah. I don't know if Kevin's going to come back or not. Oh, <laughs> I think he is coming back. Is. Well, I'm good. That This is awkward then. I'm taking now. this off the screen. No more bye Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so well, um, the, the the delay makes it so much better. It's so hilarious. It is. It is. So, what's everyone got going on? Like anything big happening uh, for anyone this weekend or the rest of this week, early next week? Any of that? I'm just waiting on a phone call from my local gun shop uh, any day now. The uh, new Gerson 1911 SC Ultimate with the optic on it with nine millimeter. It's going to be like the little officer size. Me? 1911 uh it's supposed to be here any time now so i'll get that and start messing with it but yeah looking forward to that one for sure they're waiting nice. two years for this one wow nice yeah that's uh that's getting in the neighborhood of the uh that one optic from the company that i that i am reluctant to name who it was <laughs> that committed to send and it was two and a half years later, it just randomly showed up on the front porch. And I'm like, they don't make what? this anymore. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's it's been off the shelves for six months, but hey, here it is. There you go. Do a review on it. Um, uh, okay. actually there were two. Up. There were two. They were both about two and a half years after they had said, Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll get that out to you right away. And then it shows up two and a half years later. Both of them, both of them were brand new uh when they said yes, they'd send it. And they were on second or third generation. And they sent the latest one when they sent it. But I was like, really? 
like I had a gun set aside waiting for these optics, you know, for each of them, I had guns like, oh yeah, this is going to be awesome. I'm going to put it on here. It'll be part of the review. Like I had worked it into the plan for, for two different reviews and then they just didn't show up. And then when they showed up, I was in like a dry spell where I wasn't doing any, I, I wasn't taking on any new guns to review. So it's like, crap, what am I going to do with them? So um, I actually haven't reviewed either one of those yet, but I have, I, I've, you got two years. I know. I, <laughs> yeah. I, I've still got a, a good year and a half left before the pressure even starts to come on. Yeah. I just want to make sure that snob, uh, make sure take a lesson from Clover. Uh, make sure you go and get professional glam shots done for yeah. your booth appearance. Cause when you autograph, you want to an autograph, like legit glam shots, like makeup and all. I, we can Clover can help you out. He's got a guy. Wow. I don't think Snob needs a guy. This is true. <laughs> I don't know. That license plate that he had implied that he does. That's why need he a doesn't guy. need a guy. He, yeah. He's like, I got this. Yeah. I do want to say real quick, uh, if he's out there, how's Bristol doing? I uh, hope yeah, the pup's doing the puppy? better. Yeah, I I saw the one note that um, sounded pretty down on the idea that that the paw that is not responding or whatever is likely going to have to be amputated, and I have got my um, my fingers crossed that given a week or two that some miraculously miraculous recovery will happen. Um, bodies can heal sometimes, you know. So ho hopefully that happens because you can't have a dead limb with no feeling just hanging there because you get it snagged on things and like bad bad things happen when you when you don't feel it. So I've got one like that right now. <laughs> you stop it! You just stop it. <laughs> yeah. So anyhow, hopefully, uh, hopefully with a little bit of rest and recuperation, um, uh, that Paul will will recover and. Uh, they won't have to remove it. But the good news, if they remove it, dogs seem to have a pretty good track record for getting along on, you know, as tripods. So you have to rename it tripod from Bristol to tripod. But I mean, you don't have to. But I mean, TJ, do play. not give your three legged joke here. It's not it's not the time or the place. <laughs> you know, you see, you know what I was thinking. I, was like, I know did. What they, you know unfortunately, what they call me unfortunately, I do have an insight to your sick mind. <laughs> yeah. 24 7 poor uh, crystal just gives up now like she says stuff and she just is like whatever i just i know you're gonna say something I'm like yeah no, it's not the place i was like oh no it's always a place yeah not the place <laughs> challenge <laughs> accepted <laughs> i was like let's see how many people i can piss off yeah. So, Jeff, have you uh, booked anything for shot? Or are you going to go up to like January 1 and, and really just. Well, I mean, yeah, we're good. Oh, okay. Dude, I'm not even sweating yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, booking my, I'm booking my plane tickets this week. And that's as, that's as far. And then we'll figure out housing. Yeah. Yeah. I I honestly have had too many distractions. And, you had uh, to do the whole website thing. So I wasn't going to bother with that this week. <sighs> Yeah, I was yeah. actually had time uh, a couple of days ago. It was raining. I was going to start on a review, and I was like, "Oh, I can't. <laughs> I have yeah. to wait." Well, I've got. I took a ton of pictures. I got a new, um, a new gun case in from Link's Defense, and uh, it's it's pretty sick. And I got a bunch of pictures, and I'm like, "Well, I'll just hang on for now." But now I'm good to go. Are we able yeah, to yeah. start doing stuff now? Yep. Yeah, yeah. And as of a, a few hours ago, I sent out the note that it's all clear. Oh, I haven't seen the email everything. yet. I'll, I'll check it out. I'm tomorrow. glad. And um, yeah, and I've got a backlog of several people have sent articles in that I need to to do stuff with, um, whether it be editing or like guest post stuff or deleting setting up an account so that they can start writing i think kevin i think i posted his first one uh -huh. i think i don't, honestly i don't remember but i'll have to yeah. check and see if i need to create a create a user account for kevin or if i already did and was he tipping arms yeah and yeah then, my, first, my first one's in did you see my second one or did it get lost i, I did in the, I, in I the email transition across, yeah it came across while i was uh 
getting set up to do that uh, website transfer. Gotcha. And um, let's see the other one. Oh, shooting gallery, New England. Joe has got one in the queue. I've got to create an account for him because we posted his first one as a guest post, like we usually do. Yep. So I've got to do that. Oh, and someone sent me three different ones for in the camping area that I forgot about. I'm gonna have to go it find those. It wasn't me. That so did a- Joe start out his article by saying, "What's crack a lacking, everybody?" Yes. I don't recall. I'd have to go look at it. We're going to add that, though. <laughs> yeah, it would be editor's note in italics yeah. at the top. That's, That's going to be all his all his titles. What's crack-a-lacking? Like, oh, here's, a, here's an article from Joe. <laughs> yeah. So, so I've got a backlog of at least five or six from other people that I have to do something with, plus a bunch I have to write, and then some. Hopefully, there will be some to edit here I'll shortly. Have a, I'll have a couple coming in here. right away. And I feel bad that I didn't remind people when I said, hey, no editing. I should have said, you're welcome to copy out anything you need and like work on it in Notepad or write That's in. too much work for me. You know, that low tech. I'm like, it's not going to happen with me. Yeah. You're going to love when I send you the instructions on how to access your email now. <laughs> All right. Well, well, you guys will see my reviews after shot. <laughs> I'll yeah, have Jeff, I'll have Jeff set it up for me at Shot Show. I mean, Are we getting emails, or do you have to be like an executive vice president? Uh, you know, director level people can get emails, as gotcha. evidenced by TJ getting a new email today. Um, Ooh, does that mean I have to change my business cards? To what? I mean, whatever the new email is, or the I, same email. Now you're at a director <laughs> level. Email. You've been issued okay. an official email. I think that Gearport should pay for your new business cards. I'm just TJ saying, as part had, of it. TJ had this email address for years, yep. uh, running through the Google. Google had a the Google Business platform where you could get email and uh, Google Drive and all that stuff. Oh crap! That just occurred to me. Uh-oh. I got a bunch of spreadsheets in there. Oh no! I got a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna have to move to my personal account so I don't lose them. Man, that that's a whole a whole new batch of work. So I'm gonna have to you're do. You're not taking tomorrow. You're not taking tomorrow off because they're they're gonna charge me six bucks per head per month for each for each email address that I keep in Google, and that's just gonna add up too quick. So I've got to blow those away and move them to the new web server that the website runs on and i've got one set up for me for tj for caleb i've got to create some more i wanted to get a few done so we can experiment with them make sure it's going to work okay and then when that works i'll make the new ones for everyone else it'll be the exact same email address you had before it'll just be delivered through a different server and I've actually set mine up so that I'm still using Gmail just like I did. It just comes in differently. Instead of being delivered natively in, in Gmail, I had to set up a link to the to the new email server. And that was it. So it wasn't so, that bad. So confusing for me. Yeah. I was confused. It took me hours to figure it out. But, but now I know how to do it it shouldn't be that bad so let's see um i retrieved a couple new floor guns for this week um you know, i feel like i should make I, you know what, i'm gonna make a new one make a new one here because this is really kind show of us become, your guns this has become like a new regular segment on the show. What's is in we your talk lab? about floor guns and floor guns. For anyone who doesn't understand, floor guns is is the concept of we're sitting here in our different studio areas with like I have a little desk in front of me with a keyboard and a mouse and the microphone and some monitors and the camera and everything, but I don't have space for big guns. I can have a pistol or two on the desk, but. But if I want to have any oh, I can see number of guns to show people during the program, then I got to set them on the floor. So hence the name floor, floor guns. guns. So today, I'm, in, I'm in the same boat. Yeah. Today's floor guns are, um, they are flagged with an empty chamber, which means they're unloaded. 
Um, and that's a quarter horse arms flag, by the way. So thank you, awesome. Alan, for, for that chamber flag. <laughs> you see where it sticks out for compensator at the front. This is uh, this is my little, let's see if I can get this out of the way. Not today, I don't. I just got back from kickball. Sorry, G. Yeah. There we go. So this is, Ooh, uh, look at that. This is my little, this is my bougie little race gun. It's a Smith & Wesson SW22 Victory with a Volkortzen fluted barrel and a bunch of tandem cross bits so it's got the uh, compensator and the they call it the halo ring back here so you can uh, like your charging handle ring and uh, the adjustable uh, competition trigger and a mag release and uh, and we've got a rail on top with just a little red dot up here uh, I like it. It's a little true glow. That's a, it's a shake awake, so you don't have to like push buttons to turn it on. Um, when you pick it up, it turns itself on. That's cool. Nice. It's kind of like me. Does it got a threaded barrel on the front of it? Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, there I you get go. off if someone presents a gun yes. to me. Yeah, doesn't, uh, uh, he doesn't accept guns without threaded barrels anymore. Pretty much. That's, that is that is getting close to true. That that's yeah. pretty close to true. Threaded barrel or 380. Oh, and it's got a um, tandem cross grip on it, the hive grip as well. So you awesome. can go on Gear Report and find write-ups on all of these parts and on this uh, SW22 Victory. And really cool gun. I wanted to show this a couple weeks ago, and I had misplaced it. Um, and I had to dig through the gun room. And you know where it was? Uh, fortunately, it was still... Um, it was still in the secure gun room, so it was fine, but it was in the rifle bag that I took to the range last time, um, uh, in a side pocket, just so I didn't have to carry a separate, uh, something separate. It was just sitting in the side pocket and I'd forgotten to take it out and put it back on the pistol rack. So it ended there up we go. that, that was, I actually brought two floor guns. So if anyone else wants to talk about a different gun. I'm down. Kevin's like, hold on, I'm let me down. pull over. <laughs> I, I have, let me pull over. So, right. I mean, I flew in and out of DC out, out of Dulles. So I didn't bring my carry weapon with me. Yeah. That doesn't mean I don't have a firearm with yeah. me at all times. Well, <laughs> careful. You, you, careful. According to the ATF, that is both a firearm and not a firearm. Yep. Right, it's for, it's uh, Schrodinger's firearm. <laughs> right, <laughs> apparently PSA, PSA doesn't know the difference on that one. Yeah, yeah. You, you know what I'm talking about the Texas suppressor case that's going through the court system now. The the ATF has literally said that suppressors are not firearms. Uh huh. But then, well, then this in is a different uh, part of the brief. They said they have the ability to regulate them because they're firearms, and it's like oh. Well, are they so or are, are they not? <laughs> yeah, they're they're no. firearms when we want to regulate them, but they're yeah. not firearms. <laughs> yeah, when you want to limit yeah. what we can regulate. Yeah, Ain't that something. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's the only firearm I have with me. Regrettably. Yeah, no, no. That's pretty good though. <laughs> TJ doesn't have floor guns. That is, is that it? Did you oh, interpret that as somewhat of an aggressive comment? Hold on. <laughs> I, I think it was a challenge. At? I have a wall gun. I, oh, I think yeah. it was a challenge. The wall gun. It's a, it's a, it's um, leaning up against there. The Frenchie 20 gauge. Yeah. <laughs> leaning tower of boom. That that is missing the firing pin because it fell out the other day. I don't know what happened. Oh. I tilted the gun upside down. I hear, ding, ding, ding. I'm like, oh. Firing pin. All right, gotta wow. find a new one of those. It's on my list was, now. Was that one of your dad's guns or something you picked up? Yeah, it was. Uh, it was, I just picked it up at the pawn shop. Imagine that. And it, gotcha. It work. Yeah, you never know when you buy one at a pawn no, shop. You know. guns. What are you gonna get? Who knows? The, the problem with firing pins is they're the perfect size to be swords for clover. So if there's one on the ground, <laughs> he will pick them up and you. Know, I was. Them. I was thinking more javelins, but whatever. Yeah, spears. Yeah. You know. Yeah, so I've got to find I've got to find a new one. I, w I was I wish I would have known. Like I really want to go to Wanamaker's. I was going to find that one. I, I need a bolt for a little uh, Mosin twenty two, and huh. but Toy goes. 
I want to revisit a comment here uh, talking about uh, booth appearances. Um, I, I want to talk about it, but I don't want to talk about it because I'm not sure exactly how I feel about booth appearances. I would, if a brand wanted to schedule a booth appearance, I would better probably, pay me. I would think they're kind of like, really? What What's the point? You know? Um, I'll, I'll schedule an appearance with you. And I'll pay you with shots of bourbon. What do you think? That, that'll be at the uh, 5150 booth when I show up. How how many <laughs> days are we doing this, Kev? All, uh, Monday and Tuesday, we're having Monday our booth Tuesday. at the fifth floor. Oh, nice. We'll be there. We will yeah. we do that. That'll, you know what? That'll be a good ego boost because there are times when, when like I'm fighting with websites and I'm feeling beat down that I need to feel like, you know what? People like me. I'm nice. People <laughs> like me. Uh, make, don't make sure you bring it, some people like me. Yeah. Bring, yeah. Some bring some printed photos of you to sign. That'd be great. The glam shot. Go. I think it's a great idea. That'd be awesome. We we'll get a pretty big, sure. big crowd around Jeff. Like, hey, can I have your autograph? Can I have your autograph? People are like, who's that? Like, you don't know who that is? Oh my gosh. He hired his own. We should all, we should all dress him. in black. We should all dress in black with plate carriers and like sunglasses with earpieces and be as like entourage bodyguards. I'm, I'm bringing my Aloha plate carrier just so you know. Nice. Oh, I am too, by the way. That that'll be like uh like the year that Dustin hung out with us a lot. And we we realized at one point that as we were wandering around that Dustin would kind of position himself in the middle so it looked like we like he had a security detail walking with him. Well pretty much we're all bigger. Oh clever. Well that way nobody would attack him from the sides. Good. Not known brand if I'm doing an appearance. They still won't be known afterwards either. Yeah. Well, we'd know who they are, at least. Yeah. We'll come visit. You definitely want me, Clover, and Gary up front. We're really intimidating with our yeah. size. Get on the step stools, and then they're... <laughs> they'll be up there. Ghost, are you uh, vertically challenged? I'm a monster in Japan, just saying. In parts of the town. <laughs> Not the parts where they have good food supply, though. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. That, that hurt me a little bit, Ghost. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> get over it. All right. All right. What do you got? We're Ooh, move what's on. what's We're in the case, buddy? What's in the case? In the four gun segment. This is. Uh, this is a scabbard that I got to mount on the Molly in the Humvee. So I could put it behind one of the seats or on the back wall or maybe even on the roof. I haven't decided exactly where I'm going to put it, but I've got this. Um, I think that it's a pretty cool looking, um, excuse me, scabbard with the Molly, which is very modern, right? But then oh, we've got sexiness. The absolutely empty and safe with no ammo anywhere to be seen. So unless I drop it, then the chances of hurting anyone so are 45, 40 70. Uh, this is actually a oh, 45, 45 Colt. Colt. Yep. All I right. found ammo for that. I... Yeah. So so Great. who can correctly identify the make and model? That is the FUD uh, two, 20, 2022 FUD. This is the Henry S Big S Boy. S it's the uh, Henry Big Boy all weather in 45 Colt. Nice. That's pretty. Yeah. And, and when this came out, it was actually, um, they were just starting to do it. It's a, it's a year or three old. And, uh, they hadn't really pushed many of their newer railed uh, lever guns. And like right after I got this, then they started releasing all the real tactical looking ones like, that have a, a uh, like an M-lock rail on them. And I was like, son of a bitch. Yep. Why'd you wait until I got one to do that? But whatever. 
Uh, really cool gun. I, I got to be honest. I was a little intimidated. Uh, I'd never shot a 45 Colt, and I thought, I bet this is going to thump. And I went out and shot it, and it is the lightest shooting, you know, mo most easy to shoot um, big bore gun I think I've ever shot. So I, I really like that. Uh, by the way, Snob, that's four foot nine and seven eights. Thank you. Yeah. Well, it's good to know. But seven eights is a big difference. It is when you're this short. <laughs> it's like those are sneakers or shoes. Uh, those okay. Are, yeah, depends on what shoe I'm wearing for sure. Doc Martens, baby. He'd be five foot two. <laughs> Don't Keep you forget me. Keep forgetting <laughs> to put the Boo ATF up there. Yeah, what the hell? Um, see, th th that was another one of the scenarios where I have I have sequentially censored twenty seven different comments in those to the awkward pause before and after. It, it was all like, mm, nope, can't say, that. nope, can't say that. Dang, can't say that. Like, I'm already on enough watch list. Can't say that. You can say whatever um, you want. Yeah, but it's a matter of if this stream goes dead all of a sudden, and I like my dog. Yeah. I like my dog. We don't hear from you anymore. Like, where's Jeff? I don't know. But yeah, I'm still going to shot. I'll just show up. Did you, did you see <laughs> that well, the? Yeah, uh, you should. Did you see the heck, the I wouldn't ATF published there. Did you see the ATF publish their calendar of dogs oh supporting, my you know, K the Canine Federation or whatever? That's so <laughs> bad. Wow. <laughs> you, can get a, uh, you can get a dog calendar from the ATF right now. I'm still making those patches now, Ghost. That's, oh, that's, I, I, ma I am making those patches. patches. Oh, I'm making the patches. I've got to get me Texas' the biggest barbecue. Yeah, yeah I'm going to do that. I'm going to have Tiffany make some patches for me. I'll be like, done. So, so for real, they have a dog calendar? They do. Go look at the ATF's uh, Instagram page. It's pretty much meme lore at this point. But like the real ATF. Because I'm The thinking, real ATF, yeah. I'm thinking it's, it's a matter ATF of time before HQ. they shoot someone's dog. And then if their attorney is even just slightly incompetent, <laughs> they're going to own... Maybe I mean maybe they're maybe they're coming around and they're embracing the suck like they're embracing. Well, the, you know what? This yeah. might work out for us if if we can get them to go to court over this stuff and and abolish the ATF. Then I mean that's great for everybody. So let them post yeah. away. Yeah. Okay. I'm making, I'm making the patches now. Yep, that's it. they do on Facebook, Instagram. Their Instagram handle is oh, a. Time, time to log out. Guitar Mageddon. Well, which one was I doing, TJ? Is it oh, Waco, yeah. Texas' largest barbecue? Yeah, you're doing the largest okay. barbecue. Yep, I'm doing the We'll yeah. Shoot Your Cat, yeah. too. Yep, yep. All right, so I think since the last show, I they all look the same, did a Jeff. little project. And um, what we have here is maybe the most expensive guitar I've ever owned. I've actually got this listed for about 2600 bucks right now. Ooh. It's a 1989... Fender USA, the year it's I graduated, Uwe Malmsteen Signature Edition, and it's got the scallop frets we've talked about, where they kind of bevel out between the little metal cross pieces on the on the front of the guitar. This is a guitar that I got at a yard sale for twenty five dollars, and I ordered from China a similar neck to the twenty six hundred dollar guitar. So now the $25 guitar has the same type of neck. And uh, I was actually surprised. I actually showed up with the right, you know, Fender headstock with the signature on it and everything. And I was like, wait a second, is this legal? So um, anyhow, this was a cool project for me that I will document. As I know. Point. Is the Chinese guitar called the Angus Lee? I'll give it, you a second to figure that one out. It hasn't been named yet, so... You can call it that if you want. I uh, just got to say Angus Lee, but I mean, Lee's a very popular last name in China, so I just thought I'd 
be Is funny. No, I, I want to really, really make TJ happy because I know he's wanting to ask this because he wants to extend the guitar uh, segment as much as he can. I do. I For do. Someone who's out there who is looking to get into guitars, what's a good, inexpensive guitar to look into? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna just gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna sit back. Hold on. All right. Um, let me chill out a little bit. Got my... I'm going to attempt to address that. I just had to get those out of my hands so that I could deal with that question. I'm going to lean back. Uh, and if, the nice the if the internet will cooperate, I will be able to answer that um, pretty thoroughly. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he definitely has more floor guitars than he does floor guns. That's for sure oh, yeah. at this point. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, Jeff's frozen for sure. Mm, I think I'm frozen as much as I am waiting for something to load on the other page. Oh, I thought you Maybe were frozen because you didn't really move there for a few yeah. seconds. Well, he's good at I that. actually thought yeah. you were frozen. <laughs> he's one of those birds you think, is that thing dead? No, no, he's still alive. He's there. He's just playing <laughs> possum. Yeah, he's playing possum. There yeah. he is. Man people are so harsh i mean everyone knows the guitar mageddon segment is their secret favorite <laughs> so deep down i love it here we go in the guitar section of gearreport.com we have an article aptly titled best beginner guitars to learn guitar on any budget Oh, and snap. If, if the internet cooperates and it loads, there we go. You there will you see go. that we have price points of $100, under $100, under $200, under $300. We go up in $100 increments all the way to 1000 Although 1000 I don't Any I don't ukuleles or banjos on that? No. No. Banjo's um, a different thing. Ukulele is a different thing. Yeah, it'd be a different category. But we do have a number of different options listed here um, with links so you can go get whatever you like. And, what would you uh, like? What would you choose if you were starting right now, knowing what you know about guitars, like, and you were going to go get one for someone you actually do care about, that you want to give them a good one, what would you choose? Probably this this black one here. Oh, it's back here. He actually has it. It's right here. Yeah, it's um, well, it's it's when you see right here that IYV IP three fifty PRS. Uh, uh, the, I call it a PRS copy. Paul Reed Smith is an American company that makes guitars or guitars. If you're from Oklahoma. Um, and this is a Vietnamese company that makes, um, uh, I want to call them tribute guitars because calling it a, a blatant copy knockoff sounds kind of bad. Um, but this one, they had these for sale recently for about $158, I think, or $152 maybe shipped from Amazon. And it plays about the same as a six or seven hundred dollar guitar that it was copied from i think that is probably one of the best deals out there um and one that i don't actually have listed on there that i picked up recently from the same company that has a little different look this Ooh, is a uh they call it a jazz body, a thin jazz body guitar. It's cut, it's hollow. It's got a little support block in the middle, but the sides are hollow, so it resonates. But it's got humbucker pickup, so you can make it squeal and do fancy hard rock stuff, or you can play light jazzy. Um, I don't know. I, I suppose you guys could play smooth jazz if that's what you're into. But anyhow, that one was recently that one was recently 158 dollars shipped off of amazon so those are both two really good deals in that they came in they didn't really need any work but uh, some of the cheaper ones that you see on here they were um like this uh top one the monoprice indio retro classic 
I was in that for $68 shipped, I believe. And it's a glorious guitar. I absolutely love playing it. But that's only after putting about six hours worth of work into it, making it play right. So lots of different wants options. That. They, want, they want to be able to play right out the box. Well, right. And that's God unusual, forbid. even for expensive guitars. Normally, um, they need to adjust for temperature and humidity for a week or two at their final destination. Whatever room they're going to live in, then it's best to, to leave them there for a week or two to adjust to, to you know, because wood swells or, or shrinks depending on um, whether someone's rubbing it the right way. No, hold on. That's the other kind of wood uh, based on humidity and temperature. Said. Yeah. So, um, yeah. What the heck is that? All right. Here's your instructions on how to set up that email I was telling you about. TJ. Awesome. awesome. Not, I got it. I got it, Jeff. We're not going to mess with that just yet. No, It'll be I'm easy. Not. You'll have it done before you even know you've started. Perfect. Yes. Thank you. TJ, for please go live question. while you're doing that, TJ. That'd be I will, great. I'll, I'll record that as yeah. I'm, I'm slamming my keyboard down on the desk. Like, I don't understand. I did what you said. Not that I'm on my third keyboard or anything, but I, I get a, there's a little rage that happens. All right, so there we are. Yeah. One once again, I I looked at comments and was like, mm, should I say that? Nope. Should I say nope? Can't say that. E nope. Not going to say that either. Um, so I think everyone knows we're officially in the shit shooting portion, but I'm just going to put the boo ATF up there again because that's that's really where my heart is. Pretty much, I'm. The whole places, uh, the whole time we're shit shooting. Every once in a while, we throw a little educational stuff, a little informational stuff. Yeah, shit shooting. Yep. So, um, Ghost, did you publish any uh, like Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Cyber Week deal type stuff this year? I, I did. I did a video, um, and it was like the top five gifts for gun guys on Amazon under a hundred dollars. And it was, it was Neat. some pretty cool stuff. I mean, you get like a savior rifle bag for 65 bucks, a vortex crossfire for like $99. Um, you know, there's like five different things we did on there to where, I mean, it was stuff that you, most people like wouldn't think about to get a gun person for Christmas. That would actually be an awesome gift. So, yeah, it was. I haven't. I yeah. don't haven't done an article on it yet because I haven't been able to do anything on the. But I've got that, and I've got the uh, Gerson high power clone to do an article on. But I'll, I'll get those done here. Uh, now we can go probably by the weekend's over, so I'll be shooting them to you. But yeah, it was like I was yeah. like the top well, five know, Amazon uh, thing gifts for gun guys under hundred dollars. It was just you know something real simple. Yeah, I know Snob has had some reasonable luck with publishing. Uh, a video in years past. So this year for Black Friday, like the morning of Black Friday, I went and kind of surveyed the interwebs and found um, what I thought were reasonable deals. And they're probably all expired by now. Um, but I uh, I couldn't get the video to embed right. I'm going to have to see now that I'm on the new web server if the video will embed the way it's supposed to. So I've really just got a link to it here and then links to all the products. And I don't know that I've seen much of anything come out of that as far as, you know, ROI on the effort to do that. Um, but uh, that, that's something I like to hear what other people are doing and, and how well it worked for them to help figure out, you know, in, in years to come, where should I put the time and effort? I think I've got, I think last time I checked, I had like seven sales, um, yeah. through my Amazon through that. But you know, the great thing about that is, is some of those were pretty big sales, mm -hmm. but not because of the stuff they bought it, uh, that I gave them. It's they went through my link and then went shopping on Amazon. And I got, you know, the accumulation of all the stuff they bought was pretty nice. Yep. Yeah, it's always nice when that happens. My Amazon hadn't been too bad lately, um, but I don't know that that effort worked. And in years past, like I bought a plugin for WordPress to do coupons, 
and man, I spent hours and hours and hours and hours, a couple, like three years in a row, tried three different ways to do coupons for, you know, Black Friday deals and coupons and letting people know where the sales were. And I don't think I made enough money on affiliate commissions to cover the price of the plugin that was used to display all the coupons and deals. So I said, you know what? I'm not doing that anymore. Yeah, but it's it always never, buy plug never buy plugins again. Yeah. <laughs> I, that may be the only one I've ever bought. Come to think of it. I don't tend to buy stuff like that. I don't know. Maybe I should. Oh, look, the site is mostly working right now. Huh. I, I don't either. I was uh, pretty inspired when we got out of that that um, <clears throat> that meeting that we had with Redfin One. Am I missing something or where to go? I, I'm not understanding. You're, what you're talking about the uh, what stripper Jason had the the yeah the red, red, uh, uh, tourniquet or a med kit or something. The tourniquet holder, yeah. Uh -huh. After we got after we got out of that uh, out of that session, I tore apart my first aid kit again, mm -hmm. went through it, updated it, got a new bag, so that'll be fun to uh, to kind of see some content on. Yeah, absolutely. And that one is, it's in email. I just got too busy with this site transfer that had to be done by the end of the month or they were going to charge me for another month, which coincidentally, the old web host, the charge for one month was almost the cost of what I'm paying for a whole year on the new one. So <laughs> hopefully that's not an indication of what I should expect service wise, but we'll find out. Yeah, we will. We will. Because Gear Report for the past few weeks has been breaking records as far as site traffic. Um, maybe not that the, we've we've had days that are that high before, but we haven't had like six or eight of them in a row like we had rolling up to the site outages while I was moving the site from one to the other, and I'm like, no, no I don't need to do this. Good momentum, it can't die on me now. People are like, what the hell? We're not going here anymore. Yeah. 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 So hopefully it's going to continue to do well enough that it uh, doesn't hurt the, the SEO and cost us any momentum. Because we need the site to do well so that we can be able to afford to pay for things like SHOT Show. SHOT Show. Yeah. SHOT Show. I can't wait. Yeah, I'll get excited. I'll get excited in, a, in about a month, probably. Yep, I know. I, I can't get excited yet. I get too much other stuff to worry about. Too much content to publish. So hopefully by this time next week, I would like to think that we will have at least five articles in the recently reviewed Ooh. section of the program yeah, and sure. probably three or four in the upcoming reviews that will be about ready to publish. I think we should... It should be a banger of a show next week. I think it's going to be exciting. Super informative. So many things to talk about. It's going to kill the shit shooting. I know. It's, going to, it's going to cut in the shit shooting a lot. Yeah. But uh, that that's where we've got to work on moderating and keeping the vibe going. Just zip through the articles like a second of each article and be like, all right. Yeah, right no, that's, Here not, we go. that's not really what I had in mind. Just, just you know, we can be serious in the article and then irreverent in between just to keep the vibe keep the vibe alive i got you and uh, part of me thinks that i need to start pre-gaming uh you know prepping building my tolerance for shot show you need to um, really i just i don't have time to drink on a even semi-regular <laughs> basis um <laughs> but i feel like if i don't start pretty soon Listen, you, do, you do you jeff don't worry about it. i'll i'll take I'm care of you look like a rookie though when i oh shut up you'll take care of me whatever <laughs> We've been down that road before. I'm like the worst person to go drinking with. Pretty much. I'm horrible. Yeah. Why I keep doing it? I have no idea. I have no. One of these decades, I am going to learn. Mm -hmm. 
Probably not this one though. I figure by the time we're in our sixties, you'll you'll have your tolerance built up by then. Mm. Yeah, we'll see. Okay. Um, no, I don't want to go. I was I was gonna I was gonna open a whole new can of worms. But I'm not gonna open that can of worms. Instead. Oh. <laughs> you a cheap way. Well, yeah, I I don't call it cheap. I call it thrifty. It's frugal. Frugal. Yeah. It's, you know, I spend money when I have to. If I don't have to. Responsible. Think mm -hmm. about it. Yeah. All I need is a bed and a, a semi-shower and a bathroom. That's it. Mm. Well, you it might get those. <laughs> I'm surprised you guys don't bring the command tent shut and just set up shut it. parking Shut garages. it, go. Shut it. Shut it. He's been, we've um, been contemplating that for years now. Like, if he found a campsite within walking distance, we would freaking. I could find a way to take it and set see? it up. I'm sure so there's been some casinos that have been demolished it. recently. You can just go to those open lots. They won't mind. We would. Uh, but, but you know what would happen is a, then a you'd have to stay with to a it. Porta potty. What I need is for a brand to say, that would be a cool, different look for us to set it up over our, like have the command tent be their booth. Uh, because I've got one, the 14 by 15 is probably about the right size where it would be good for that. And it would be a unique look. And if they sell military Down type the products, that could be neat for them. Um, because then it'd be set up inside. Otherwise, if we set it up outside in Vegas, like you walk away to pee and come back, it'll be gone. Or there'll be 27 homes. 20 people, people there'll be 20 there. people in there like, hey, what's up? Thanks for the house. Yeah. Hey, you charge them a dollar a, per, a piece. And man, I, because you know they've got a dollar a piece. Let's not be real. But mm -hmm. they charge them a dollar, but you can, you can finance this thing somehow. Yeah, I don't know. So the downside is they're so large and heavy that um, it would cost more to ship it there and back than it would to fly there, get a hotel room. You know, fly home. Eat it. Eat it. Tacos al gordo every night and fly home. Yeah, yeah. It'd be probably probably about five hundred bucks each way at a minimum. Vegas is way across the country. It'd be more than that. It'd probably be seven hundred, seven fifty each way. Just drop it off to Josiah. Have them put that in the their big crates. They ship out to Vegas and let them pay for it. Yeah, I bet that I bet some of the big companies just like fill up a truck. Yep. Like instead of hiring a freight company to ship X number of pallets, I bet that they haul enough that it's like we'll just pay for the whole truck, take the trailer, drop it. We'll load it up at the end of the week. You know, I, I bet that they do it that way. And, and I bet that there is a company somewhere within a few hours drive that we could get to let us do that. If we had a good destination for it, if we we're going to do something cool with it. And Ghost, if we we're going to do just, that. Ghost just I'd wants to see us up. camping. That's all he wants. I'd set it up and stencil gear report all over that thing too. So the, the problem that they probably won't do it for shot because they're not, I don't think they're allowed to because of all the, uh, how do I put this? Team the, the, um, team, I, I, I wasn't going to say the teamsters, but sure. Let's just go ahead and say it. Teamsters. The teamsters like they have, they have specific warehouses that all the shot show stuff has to go in. Mm -hmm. And they're set up and broken down and all of that by the different unions, we'll say. So, mm -hmm. yeah, they might not let them do that with a truck. Yeah, who knows? But um, anyhow, yeah. I don't want to sleep in a tent for a week like that. I'll do know. it other times. But, no, that would be miserable. Yeah. I mean, I, it's good. It's only a couple nights. Well, I think SHOT Show has changed for me. And the first time I went to SHOT, I was in a room at Circus Circus by myself. And I ran Ouch. all day, every day from meeting to meeting to meeting to meeting. And I didn't know anyone, but I had reached out. I'd spent a couple months scheduling meetings and reaching out to brands. And I had met very few people. Um, but, um, you yeah, know, I did know a few people. 
but I was pretty new into working in the in the gun space. I'd been reviewing stuff for for a number of years, but was brand new at doing guns. So I busted my butt. It was crazy how hard I was pushing day in, day out, the whole week. And then at night, I'd go back to the room. I would shoot videos and do interviews. I was a one-man interview machine. Like I would literally do an intro with the cam with my phone camera facing back at me and then turn it around and interview someone in a booth. And I go back and edit like four or five of those a night and publish them. I go to bed about two 30 or three o'clock and then okay. get up at like five. So I could take my shower and get to the, get to the room for breakfast or six that first or whatever. year. That first year I went was like that. And I was like, this is crazy. Yeah, yeah, I think I had 27 interviews my first year. I learned very quickly that is not the way to go because you just don't have time for everything. We got to figure it out now. Oh yeah, yeah. You just kind of yeah. casually wander around. Yeah. Just wander around. Go go yeah. visit the people we know, check out some new brands, meet some new people. Take the time to be able to slow down and see the cool stuff. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And have the conversations. Yeah. Like the, the best the best relationships that we built last year, one came out of that show in South Florida, the Fire Expo, uh, the year before. That was all groundwork laid there, I think, yeah. which was a pain, man. I hauled one of those tents uh, all the way to the far end south, just north of Miami, over by Fort yeah. Myers. That was a long way to haul one of those tents. That was a fun and, show, though. And had arranged for three decked out Humvees to be there. So we rolled in heavy and impressed some people and got that, that, that bought us some credibility, I think. And then, um, global ordinance, uh, following up on some posts I saw online where, uh, cat had posted some things. We didn't know cat or global ordinance. And we, took the time to just hang out and chat for a while. And that turned into a really good relationship. Yeah, she's one of the coolest people out there. I knew Kat when she was with Adams. Right. Um, and um, last year when I went over to Global, um, I walked by and I was like, Kat? And she's like, what are you doing? I'm like, what are you doing? You know, I, I didn't realize she had gone to Global. And mm -hmm. we sat there one morning for like 45 minutes or an hour had like, she had coffee. I didn't have coffee, but coffee and mm -hmm. like breakfast and all that. And people were walking in trying to talk to her. And she's like, look, I'm here with a friend. I'm having breakfast. I'll be with you a little bit later. And I was <laughs> like, no, oh, it's just cat. But I mean, but it was yeah. great to be able to do that. Cause in years yeah. past, you're not going to have 45 mm -hmm. minutes or an yeah. hour to spend with anybody. Well, that's exactly. We spent, I think we spent an hour there, probably 15, 20 minutes the first day. And had lunch. Said, I'm not going to be available. Just come back tomorrow. We'll do lunch. So we went and had lunch, but then we still hung out at the booth. We were probably there more than an hour the second day. And that yeah. paid off really well. And the first yeah. probably four years I went to shot, that never would have happened because I had like six and a half minutes scheduled. Oh, dude, it was a nightmare. That and that was I it. Remember, I remember my first year we'd go and Jeff was like, here's my, here's my schedule. And it was every every like 15 minutes or so meeting, meeting, meeting. And I was like, all right, we got to go here. We got to go here. We got to go here. And I'm like, and then, you know, Jeff, oh, look at that. We don't have time for that, Jeff. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I learned. I think it's going to be interesting to see how much busier, which I think it's going to be pretty busy this year because so. uh, a lot of the restrictions are gone. Plus, everyone heard how good earlier in 2022 was because uh, I know a lot of people are going for the first time, which is going to be fun because – now they're going to have to go through those, you know, how many cameras do I take and yeah. how many microphones do I have set up? And I need to schedule all these appointments. And, and there's a part of me that says, phones. don't do that. But they also, to be honest with you, they need to do that. They need to know we'll the, out. the crazy bad side of what not to do at shot. And so sometimes scheduling 27 appointments the first year, is just the best way for them to figure out the next year. Okay. Because I did then. that. And, and, and yeah. I didn't, like you said, Jeff is, you know, you didn't see like your first year, you didn't really get to see or appreciate shot show. I loved every minute of it. But when I was heading back on the flight home, I sat there and I was like, 
you know, I really didn't outside of my appointments. I didn't really get to just walk yep. around and see shot. And I do that now. And that's what I love about it. I've been telling everybody to bring the, like where the biggest backpacks they could fit on their back. Oh God. What <laughs> is that? We wrong? had, we had, we had a I mean, seven, four Oh, honest to God. And I don't want to screwed it up. Uh, Snob yeah, had him that. convinced that, that Tuesday he's supposed to wear a coat and tie and nice slacks for the first day of shot. And and we had him going. He's like, oh, man. And I felt bad because I was like, okay, this guy's going to go buy like a nice oh, suit. <laughs> and I told him not to do it. I was like, I should have at least gone at least till Christmas and let him believe that oh, no. you yeah, know, he's supposed to wear a suit and tie. Oh, no, you know? That's good to tell him. It would be funny, but yeah, you, you can't. It is good. I, but I have actually thought about showing up and doing like a suit and tie just for a change of pace, just to say, you know what, if you blend in, if you're wearing the same car, you know, 511 pants and riggers belt and, you know, uh, button Brandon, down Brandon or t-shirt. golf shirt, um, you know, if you're wearing the same thing as everyone else, doing the same thing as everyone else, you'll blend in with everyone else. But sure, if you're the crazy Crocs. guy who showed up in a suit and Crocs, then, you know, if you're going to wear a suit, then you got to wear the Crocs. I'm just and and the Boogaloo plate carrier. Just saying, well, I've got that. people will remember you. Yeah, I'm going to get my tux sized and wear my tux or just get a tuxedo T-shirt. That'll work. I don't know. It doesn't feel the same to me. I have me. an actual tux. <laughs> Black or white. Probably white. It'll show, so, off, show off the plate carrier better. So we should set something up for next week um, where we invite a bunch of people, get some, some veterans and some new people, and have kind of a panel discussion about SHOT Show. I could talk shot all day, every day. Like I love it. So I'm in. Yeah. Like I know you have She Fires is going for the first time. Budget's going for the first time. Chris from the 740, or, or he's going for the first time. Yeah. So there's three that like we all kind of know that is going. So that'd be fun. Yeah. Uh, well, let's go ahead and shut it down. We can talk offline about making some arrangements to get people invited, and we'll have that discussion probably – See if we can pull that off next week. Uh, there's a brand that I want to get on before we get too much further. Uh, I'll go ahead and say uh, Deadfoot Arms has finally got their MP5-ish looking upper oh. out. And I need there's to get them back on to talk about that before SHOT Show, like in the next couple of weeks. So maybe we, maybe I can get them on the next week and we can do the SHOT discussion uh, like next week and then the week after that, I get Deadfoot Arms. On. I'm gonna have to check with uh, with Ted at Deadfoot and see what kind of avail- availability they have. But I really want to talk about that because that's cool. Um, but then we can get some people on and talk about uh, the adventure that is Shot Show. I love it. I'm down. I'm down. All you do is MP5 and goes is in. MP5 shot. Yep. I mean, there's like that's it's like, like the holy grail. I'm done. That's it. Nope. Yep. Just reading comments. TJ's first year with you. Happy. So that must have been when we were talking about uh consuming. Oh, yeah, well, I know she wasn't talking about this because no one did shit for me when I was in the bathroom throwing you don't up. Have, you don't have any hair. I know. But it was more of a, God, would he just shut up so we can sleep? It, the, the sympathy level, it just wasn't there. It was more like, dude, There's really? No sympathy, dude. You, you give us hell if we do anything, but then you're throwing up in the bathroom? Like, yep, I earned that. I shouldn't talk about that. That was uh, that was poor form of my part. The look I got when you rolled out of bed and you looked at me, I was, I was like, oh, my God. Yep. He's he going to murder me. That. I was like, he's going to murder me. Then you scampered off, and I was like, "All right, I'm good." Mm. Time yeah, to call I had I had eight o'clock meeting that day. That was very unpleasant. Um, oh. Okay, with that, I think we're to wrap it up. So, everyone, cool. check back next week. We'll either have Deadfoot Arms or a Shot Show discussion, or 
we already talked about we should have a whole bunch of content to talk about. What so kinds of stuff going on? Maybe it's potluck next week. We do a little bit of everything. Who knows? We'll have to see how it goes. So, crap. Um, thanks, Kevin, for not wrecking on camera. Yeah. That, uh, that was good. Oh, look. Right. <laughs> He's safe. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, so you have, I got an hour of putting gas in this thing. It's fine. Yeah, don't put, <laughs> don't put diesel in your gasoline car, brother. Nah, I'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs> fun. All right. So th thanks for being here. We appreciate you. Safe travels. And uh, Ghost, thank you for being here. And uh, You bet, brother. TJ, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I know. Uh, no, I mean, thanks for being here. You know, how, you know the drill. Yeah. Uh, we appreciate everyone. We look forward to seeing you next week. Until next time.